So today we will explore a beautiful technique I use all the time, also in hardware, polymetric modulation. This technique can add lots of variation and movement to your patches, and even though the main concept is pretty simple, I would like to show you a few examples and modules you can use. As always, if you enjoy this video and the other videos on my channel, consider joining our community on Patreon and Discord for lots of extra content. Now I want to start with what is a polymeter anyway, and I recently uploaded a video all about working with various meters in the modular environment, so make sure to check it out if you want to dig deeper. But basically, having a polymeter is as easy as having multiple sequences that run at the same rate, but have different number of steps. So here I have one sec three with eight steps sequencing a kick drum. Right, and another sec three with only five steps sequencing a hi-hat. Right, when we play them together, we get a polymeter. Right, now again, this is great for sequencing different voices, but in this video, I want to show you that it can be quite unique for modulation purposes. Right here again, I have the sec three, and it's sequencing a very simple, a very simple voice. Right, I have here a VCO going through a filter, and some delay. Right, and now what we usually do is we use the other rows to add movement. So for example, I can use row two to add movement to the filter. Right, and row three to add movement to the decay of the envelope. Right, and that's great. There is movement, there is variation but it starts to get boring pretty quickly and it still sounds very repetitive. Right, so again, we will utilize polymetric modulation. I have here another sec three with exactly the same values, right? So if I switch the sequences, right, it's exactly the same modulation values, but now it's enough that I set it to have only seven steps and we get something much more alive full of variation, never listen to this. Right, so now the pitch sequence is eight steps long, but the modulation sequence is only seven steps long, so we get a much longer sequence. Right, it will repeat itself only after eight times seven, so it's actually a 56 step sequence. Right, so you can see how easy it is to add more variation over time, even with a simple repetitive eight step sequence. So now let's have a look at a few more examples and modules we can use. So the first module I wanna show you is the digital sequencer from Vox Glitch. It's perfect for something like this since it has six channels, right? And each of them we can set to a different length. This reminds me a bit of the voltage block module in hardware that I use all the time especially for polymetric modulation and sequencing. Anyway, here I have a 16 step sequence. Right, so the digital sequencer is sequencing an FM voice with two FM operators. Right, again, it's really repetitive, but let's see what we can add to it. On the second channel here of the sequencer, I have a 10 step sequence, right? I just changed the number of steps here with this knob. So I have a 10 step sequence that I can use, for example, for controlling the feedback amount, right? On the FM operators, I will just take this channel, right? Send this to the feedback. Right, already we have some movement. On the next channel here, I have a 15 step sequence. I can use this for controlling the FM depth. Right, on the next one I have a 20 step sequence that I can use to bring in the delay via the mix input. So if I take the mix all the way down, I can use this channel to bring it in. 
Right, and you can see from a simple 16 step sequence, we got something now with lots and lots of movement and variation. Right, I have here a bass with a modern VCO going through a filter and some delay. Just a drone bass. And I have here another voice, I have the VCO, the VCV VCO going through a wave shaper and a filter and again some delay. And I have here the digital sequencer set with different sequences, right, once with 7 steps, 12 steps, 10 steps, 5 steps, adding modulation and movement, polymetric modulation. Another sequencer that can be quite fun is the ASEC sequencer from Doc B. What's nice about it is that you can just generate sequences with the click of a button, experiment and find sequences you like, and it's quite easy on the CPU, so you can add a few of them and introduce variation and movement. Here I have the one and only Tremo 2. Right, for now it's just generating clicks, but let's start by modulating the decay of the oscillator part. Right, so here on the sequencer I can hit dice, right, and already you can see it's generating new values, right, and this I can use in the modulation matrix here, right, it's already set to the decay. Introduce some modulation, and again we want polymetric modulation, so let's go with seven steps. Right, so we have some movement to the decay. Let's duplicate now this ASEC. Right, and we will use this to modulate the decay of the noise section. Right, so again, I will hit dice a few times. Just for fun, we will leave it with seven steps. I duplicate the reset and clock. Let's try something else. Oh yeah. Right, we can use another one to modulate the shaper. Right, so I will just duplicate it again. By holding control, I can grab another cable, duplicate of the cable. Right, again, hit dice a bit. We will leave also this one with seven steps, or maybe we will try something else. Let's see, this will modulate the shape. Right, we can try something else, let's say five steps. Right, and we can use another one to modulate the decay of the envelope, each envelope modulation. Right, so let's duplicate what we have, leave it with five steps, let's say, we see what we get. Hit the dice a few times and use this to modulate the time. Right, just for fun, I have here distortion and a delay that I can use in parallel. So I will use a copy of Tremor. This will go to the distortion. Right, and now also here I can use some polymetric modulation. I will go with 12 steps, hit dice a few times, and this will modulate the distortion. And again, we need the reset of the clock. So listen to how much movement we had, or we have, we had only uh, clicks at the beginning. Right, but now we have movement, 7 step sequences, 5 step sequences, 12 step sequence. Right, here I have another one. Right, I have a 16 step sequence, sequencing kick call from Bef uh, Befaco, going through some wave shaping, a delay. And we have polymetric modulation with seven steps.
So if you follow my videos, you probably noticed that I use the ADDR sequencer from Bogo Audio quite a lot, especially for this type of things. So here I have three plats modules. Right, they are all getting the same pitch sequence from one ADDR. It has four steps, but I have polymetric modulation. Right, one is being modulated with a sequence of five steps. Another one is being modulated with a sequence with seven steps. Another one is being modulated with a sequence of three steps and all together we get a really nice sequence, a macro sequence if you will. Right, the pitch sequence never changes, it has four steps. But thanks to the polymetric modulation, we get lots of movement and the sequence sounds much, much longer than it really is. Now the ADDR sequencer by default has only eight steps or maximum of eight steps, right? But we can go higher than that. It has a, an expander, the ASX expander that you can use to add eight more steps. You can use multiple of them and you can add as many steps as you like. So here I have a 16 step pitch sequence, right? More, um, sequencing the VCO, going through a filter and a wave shaper. Let me unmute this. Maybe I will solo this for a second, right? There is polymetric modulation on the filter. Here there are 10 steps on the wave shaper. Here there are 14 steps. Right, so you can hear how much movement this adds, right? Simple as having another sequencer running with a different length. Of course, you can use other sequencers in VCV. It's not an issue just adding another sequencer. Again, in hardware, I really recommend the voltage block. It has eight channels you can use. Each one of them, you can set a different length, a different clock division even. Right, so it's perfect for this technique. Right, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, come join us on Patreon and Discord. Thank you for watching. Cheers.